As you would expect from a world-class medical center that is also a Harvard teaching hospital, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center can handle the most complex of spine surgeries. But what makes the Spine Center truly stand out is our multidisciplinary model. It encompasses anesthesiologists, physiatrists, orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons. It has a lot of experts, all the experts that you need. Oh, that's great. I'm a neurosurgeon who does spine, but we have orthopedic spine surgeons as well. And we work together, we see each other in the operating room uh, almost on a daily basis. We confer by email or text or phone. I have found it very helpful in taking care, especially about complex patients. And every spine um, disorder needs a multidisciplinary approach. All of us want the best outcomes, and we all believe that we're better through the team than by showing each one individually being as the number one. I get better when my team is better. With regard to the actual surgery, well, you're not going to remember most of it. But as with everything we do, we are always right there with you. I'm with you all the time from the moment you go to sleep till the moment you wake up. We go together back to the recovery room and then I check on you probably one to two hours after the surgery. Sometimes you don't remember that because you're still under the influence of medications, of course. When you come up from the recovery room after your surgery, you'll come up with one of the recovery room nurses and you will be greeted by the nurses on our floor, the nurse who will be taking care of you. How are you? For patients that get admitted to the hospital, then I see them every day. In my specific case, I like to do social rounds. So the, oftentimes the fellow or the nurse practitioner who takes care of specifically the spine patients on the floor will see the patients in the morning and I come later in the day as another check-in and often the family's around as well, so it makes it nicer. The nurses will be the first ones for sure to get you out of bed and you will see a physical therapist who will work with you on mobility. We're gonna come and see you at your bedside show you how to get out of bed correctly because moving after surgery takes a little bit of forethought and practice so that you don't um, increase your pain, get you out of bed and have you walk a little bit. We want to make sure that you can get home safely and take care of yourself. We're used to taking care of all of the spine patients so all of the nurses are very familiar with how you're going to be moving and how you're going to be feeling and what we can do to make you feel better and control your pain. Most patients come in preoperatively reporting back pain, leg pain, and after surgery the pain can be different. Some patients will immediately feel like their leg pain is gone. Sometimes it also takes a little bit of time because the nerves are still irritated and it takes a little bit of time to heal. Patients may initially complain more of incisional pain. Uh, just in the area where we operated and then usually one to two days after surgery your muscles might feel a little achy because of the surgery and they tighten up a little bit. We carefully assess people before they leave the hospital you know either in the recovery area or in the inpatient ward if they've stayed overnight. We typically uh, go through a checklist of requirements for them to, to be able to leave and be independent on their own and we also send people home with information about the operation they had, about things to watch out for, reasons that they should contact us in, in a durable list of contacts so it's easy for them to reach us. And then also uh, information about when they'll be following up to see us again in the office. <laughs>